You'll also see when you look at different conductors, we have different stranding methodologies. Our two basic divisions are solid conductors or stranded conductors. But when we look at stranded conductors, they can take all kinds of different forms. If, we, if they simply get those, those individual strands get grouped together, we have a concentric stranding. This is used a lot in utility wire and it has the most space between the individual strands. If you look at, for example, 600 volt copper building wire, most of that is compressed. And so what happens is they, the manufacturer takes all of those strands, they twist them together, and then they apply some compression using a die during the process to reduce the outer diameter by a small amount. It's usually about 3% smaller than a concentric conductor. If additional dyes are used, there are compact stranded conductors that are used for 600 volt aluminum building wire, or they could be used for medium voltage copper or aluminum conductors. And what you'll see is that there is very little, if any, air between the strands. These are called interstices between each of these individual strands. So the smaller those are, the smaller the outer diameter of the conductor is. Now it's important to realize it doesn't matter which of these stranding methodologies you use, the ampacity is based on the AWG or circular mill size. So it doesn't make a difference if it's solid, compact, compressed, or concentric when you're calculating ampacity.